Like, they're taking perfectly decent food and putting glue all over it. Like, why? They're literally taking... What, what is that for? They're putting it on the floor. Why? 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 Like, it's not like there's, like, there's, there's millions of, of hungry people all over the world or anything. And they're just sticking glue all over some nuts. Hello there! How are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. So today we are going to be testing out 5 Minute Craft Art Hacks from their constantly ever running live stream. They have a live stream. I know, it's news to me as well. I literally learned yesterday that they have this constantly running live video just basically filled with all of these arts and craft hacks. Never seen it before and I figured when I literally saw it not even 24 hours ago that maybe it was just a live thing they were doing then and there. But it turns out when I woke up this morning, it was still going. I checked this afternoon, still going. So I figured I'd turn the camera on, sit here, and as the art hack testing YouTuber that I am, I would watch it until I find some decent ones to test out for myself, including, but not limited to, your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. I'm very, very excited to get started and let's go. So it's called Fantastic Crafts, Art Ideas and Painting Techniques You Should Try. So I sat for about an hour total going through all of these. Obviously you have some hacks that are good, some that are bad and some that are just plain, just very confusing. Why would there just be a random chunk of the fence missing though? I don't understand that. But eventually I finally did find some good ones that I wanted to try. Hey. So I found one. I just went back in time to one that was live a little while ago. They've got a glass jar. Oh, it looks kind of cool though. What is, what is that? It's not sea salts, is it, for the bath? It's not like for the... They've made a candle? Really? Okay, that's... I don't think that's safe, really, putting it inside something you've acrylic painted, but... What do I know? I like that idea though. I think I'm gonna try that one out. I'm gonna try painting the glass like that. Um, and just kind of, I guess, tracing over it with a, maybe a Posca marker and then painting the inside to see how it looks. Okay, so I've got my glass jar. I got this from Target. It was like $6. I think it's supposed to hold cookies. I'm not gonna use cookies because I'm gonna be painting inside the jar. So I definitely don't wanna be putting any food items in that. Because they're tracing like a flower, I don't have a working printer. So I just cut this out of my coloring book. I cut, I cut, I cut Chucky out. This is Tommy. He's, eat, he's chucking cookies out. So I'm just gonna stick that in there, even though it doesn't really fit. And I'm gonna paint over it with, well, draw over it with a blue marker. Because I don't know where my black one's gone. So I'm gonna try and, if I need to like, not put his feet in. That looked weird. That looked oh, weird. Good. Okay. Head and like he's, got a, he's got an old man forehead, doesn't he? He really does. It's all wrinkly and like three hairs on it. Yes, he's got even got like age spots there. The foot also looks really weird, but that's fine. Ta-da! A very wonky Tommy Pickles. I'm gonna use this stuff for the inside, just because I really like how matte it is, and I'm hoping it's not. Very thick. <laughs> nice. I'll just do that and then try and paint. It should be fine. It's very gloopy. You okay with it? <laughs> Regretting my life choices of being someone that's really bad at putting lids back on paint. Ta-da! How's it look? Looks good. The inside looks great though, look at that. Oh yeah. Beautiful. A Tommy Pickles pickle jar. So we're not gonna put pickles in, or cookies. I actually really am happy with that. Doesn't like it's good. like stupidly easy, but it, it's kind of effective. It's not, it's not the best quality, but it looks quite nice. So for the next one, let's see what they have. That's tacky. That's... It's cute. 
but it's a bit tacky. <laughs> so, they're taking olive oil over the top of a pencil? Scribble, I guess, and they're smoothing it out. I can't say I've seen this before, so I'm actually genuinely curious if this works. I initially thought it was crayon, but I'm pretty sure it was a pencil they used, right? Okay. I like that. I like that one a lot, actually. So I've got some colored pencils here. We're gonna be using for this particular hack. Um, apparently, if you use olive oil on a paintbrush, it helps to smooth them out. Cameraman can over there. It's gonna draw us a picture with the colored pencils and then I'm gonna to attempt to see if the olive oil actually smooths it out. So you wanna have a go? These are nice colored pencils, actually. Mm-hmm. A child has drawn this. <laughs> I'm actually very impressed. I'm actually very impressed. <laughs> As someone that doesn't do art, I think that's very cute. So we're gonna take this paintbrush, we're gonna dip it into the olive oil here from this lid, and then we're gonna see if this actually looks like it's gonna blend. Ooh. Ooh, it's actually blending. I'm actually surprised. I did not expect this to work. I'm guessing it's not a good idea to do because I've never heard anyone tell you to do this before. Oh, I'm sorry, I put green on the on your on your petals. I'm actually really surprised that this does, to a degree, kind of smooth it out. And I'm guessing it would work better if you've got a few more layers on here as well. Okay, that's nice and smoothed out. I think it looked better before though, personally. It was it's a beautiful flower that you did. I'm very impressed. Thank you. It's, it's a beautiful flower. I'm gonna keep that. Can I frame it? Yep, you can frame it. Yep. Okay, can you draw me more? Sure. So for this one, they have three dots. They're using a bunch of cotton swabs to like dot, dot it around into trees. They're now using a toothbrush to create the reflection and a credit card. To... Just use normal things though. Why are you just not, what? Well, mm. And basically I'm just gonna take a bunch of cotton buds and then do what they did and just dot around for the trees. I'm actually surprised how nice that actually is. I bet you could get a lot of nice textures with cotton buds if you practice with them a lot. I feel like this is a genuinely really good idea. They just look like colorful Christmas trees at the moment. We got our funny looking trees. Now we're gonna create that line with the toothbrush. I can't believe I'm painting with a toothbrush right now. It's not something I ever thought that I would do. I mean, to be fair though, I think a lot of people probably use something like this for textures, just not in this way. Okay, so looks a bit weird, but we're gonna stick with the process. Um, and I don't wanna use an actual card, like a credit card, so I'm just gonna use like a piece of card instead. It looks very basic, but I'm actually really enjoying this. It's actually very, very, um, What's the word? It's very therapeutic, very simple, but it shows if you wanna make some artwork, you need to get that creativity out. You can do it very easily, very simply. Uh, so yeah, give it a try. You should definitely give it a try. And you can probably really like refine it as well, make it look very, very nice. She's got sore ears. Let me guess, glue gun. Yeah, that glue gun, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. They're obsessed with their glue guns. What is that gonna do? What is that gonna do? That's just gonna make your neck sore though. I know it's not really an art hack, but it's a craft hack. So I'm gonna give that a go as well because I just feel like that's gonna be fun. In this package, don't show my Crocs. Okay, I won't. <laughs> oh, I'm not showing the Crocs. You're not showing the Crocs? Not at all. Bless you. <laughs> Germs! 
So we have our glue gun. This is probably the 17th glue gun that I've ever owned because if you've been with me long enough, you will know that I lose my glue guns all the time. So this takes longer than the Walmart ones. The Walmart ones were done by now. It's been like, oh, it's coming out. It's slow though. It took like 45 seconds. So I'm not very happy with that. I'm gonna, what can I put glue gun on that's just gonna peel off? <laughs> Gotta make it rigid. I don't know why 5 Minute Crafts are so obsessed with glue guns and 3D pens. Like, they're like, oh, got a broken fence? Here, use a 3D pen. Hopefully it's alright, I'm gonna try taking it off now. Stuck. Mm, yes, we should have done that. There's no way it would come off paper because it. Well, you could get it off the paper, but it's gonna stick to it and rip it. I'm gonna try it on the shiny piece of like cardboard to see if that works. I don't know who would go to this much effort, to be honest. That's the thing about five minute crafts. They're doing hacks that so called make your life easier, but they don't because you spend like two days doing them. This is 100% gonna rip the paper up, but it's fine. It's just for experimenting if it works. Oh, here we go. See, it took the, tape, the paper with it. Let's just rip this off, because it still works. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna attempt... Wait, I don't put it on my ears, do I? Did it work? It looks like it works, yeah. Wow, okay. It's a little haircut on the plant, but it works. Wait, how does it look? Does it look stupid? No, it actually looks like it works. Really? Yeah. It's actually pretty tight. Honestly, like, this, that might actually work. And honestly, it doesn't look that bad. Well, just five dollars. I, I thought it was just gonna stretch out and not work, but this hack works. So, if for some reason these, like, hurt your ears, or they're not tight enough, and you don't want to keep doing that, that does work. Just make sure that you do it on some fancy paper mm -hmm. and it'll look good. So, 10 out of 10. Stupid, but works. 5 Minute Crafts seems to be obsessed with using glue guns and 3D pens. And basically, they take a pen and they're saying, ow, they've got a sore finger from writing. So they take a glue gun, put it all the way around the, the pen, put some gloves on, squish it so it's at like the angle of their fingers and then continue to write. They don't, you know, go out and buy those little foam things that you can put on pencils to help cushion your fingers. They just take their massive glue gun out. I mean, they must go through so many glue guns a year. Okay, so here is our pencil, which we're going to be using for this hack. It's just an Amazon Basics one. So to be honest, I'm not all that upset about getting rid of it. So if this hack does not work, it's not a big deal. We've got our tiny little glue gun, which I'm still upset about because I swear this was a full-size glue gun. That's why I bought it on Amazon. But I guess they either sent me the wrong thing or most likely I just didn't actually read properly. I might have misread something. This is going to be somewhat of a difficult task, mostly because if I touch it when it's too sticky, it's just going to pull off. So I have to get the balance right between when it's not too sticky and when it's more dry, if that makes sense. I'm worried this is gonna make a mess as I turn it. Right, so there's our glue gun glued stuff. It's still so wet that it's like moving as I turn it. So I don't wanna touch it just yet. Yeah, see, that is what we do not want to happen. That is not what we want, so I need to wait a bit longer, I guess. Oh, um, you know what? Maybe I just need to do that and then wait for it to dry. But then it's surely it's going to stick to my gloves, isn't it? I will say it was pretty hot when I first touched it like I thought it was going to be because I left it for about a minute. It's not that bad. I feel like it's not going to be that great a representation of this because, I mean, I'm wearing gloves. So surely it's going to take the form of the gloves in some spots. Like this part isn't even touching my finger. Okay, I think, I think it's hardened. So I'm going to attempt. Oh, here we go. It came off. Okay. It's definitely got the shape of the glove. <laughs> Honestly, it looks stupid. Because it is. But 
it kind of works. Like it's it's not it's not really fitting. You know what? That actually that's pretty good. It's not fitting my fingers perfectly, but it definitely feels quite nice. I don't know if I would bother doing this ever again in my life. The actual test is to know if this helps me to actually writing. You know what? This is actually very comfortable. I don't think it's that beneficial though if you're going to be kind of writing because normally when I write I'm more like this versus down. But we'll do we'll do a test to see if I'm able to draw a circle. That is the ultimate test. If I can draw a circle, we know it works. Nah. You know what? I'm going to give this hack a 3 out of 5 to be honest because yes it works. Is it something you should bother doing? Probably not. I mean, just get those foam things or wrap it with tape like some people do. It definitely feels nice because it's somewhat molded to your fingers, but it's not really molded in the right spot. But maybe, you know, maybe if I held it more like that, it would be okay. Works. Bit stupid. Not sure if it's worth it, but yes, it does. In a sense, it does work. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so incredibly much for watching. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. Feel free to give the video a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe as well. Thank you all once again for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video.